person's bulletin has been issued for Brian, who has disappeared. Meanwhile, Marco suspects what Karen has been up to, and Edwina decides to find out more about Becky. I know my little Larry. He's just sitting at home, getting lonely. And one day when he realizes that I'm not going to come back to him, he's going to come crawling to me on his hands and knees. His hands and knees, huh? And what will you do? Will you give old lonesome Larry a break and go home, or will you tap dance on his hands? I don't know. I'll decide that when the time comes. Actually, at this point, Larry is preferable to Dorian. Here you go, Mr. Dean. I, I thank you. And Madame thanks you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't let it happen again, but... I'm cold. To land fair. Be it ever so humble. Oh. Yeah, the warden's waiting.
Maybe you called me at all. But I'm not. Then again. Maybe I'm not. Won't you sit down? Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, no. No, I'd like to keep a straight head for this. Whatever it is. I gather from our phone conversation that you're not after my body. What I need from you are two things. Your trust and your son. Well, those can be purchased, of course. Well, of course, I'm asking you for a favor. You will be very well reimbursed. Oh, well, in that case, it's a deal. You haven't even heard what this is about. Oh, sure. Oh, no, wait a minute. Do I have any guarantee that you're going to uphold your end of this bargain? Wait a minute, Edwina. You called me, remember? Now, if you're not willing to trust me, then I may as well. Oh, no. No, I just had to ask. Okay, let's not have any more of that then, okay? Now, just who and what is all this about? <laughs> you know Rebecca Lee Hunt, right? Yeah, I know her. Little country singer. What about her? Well, there's apparently a very interesting secret in her past. One that she won't trust with anyone. I want to know what that secret is before anybody else does. <laughs> Sam. 
was for your father. Paul Kendall is your father. Yeah. And you're Brian. Well, did you have a good sleep? No. I got cold. You missed your own bed. You might want to remember that for the next time you decide to run away. How do you know that's what I did? I spoke with your father last night. He's worried sick. So is your mom. Karen, if I 
had wanted Edwina to deliver it, I would have asked her. I'd rather you delivered it. All right. I'll deliver it. Karen? Yes? I'm going to be having dinner at Tony's place tonight around 6 o'clock. Would you care to join me? Since you're gone. 
And I hate it here. But you don't hate your mother. Now, we all know that, and you know that, too, by the way you've been acting. She made you go away. Brian, that is not true. I chose to go away. And anyway, we've been through all of this. Well, I still don't like it. Well, that is tough, Brian. I'm sorry, but that's the way it has to be. Your mother and I are going to be divorced, and then your mother and Tony will be married. We hard in time, though. You'll find out that it's not really going to be as bad as you, you think it is. You promise, son. Don't call me son. Don't you ever call me that again. Brian, look. Don't you understand that we all love you? We want what's best for you. Sure, that's why Mom's married Tony and you're leaving town. Brian, listen to me. Look, I am not leaving town. And even if I thought about it for one moment, it was because I, I was confused at the time. Now, I'm not leaving you that way. I am staying in Landview. I'll always just be a phone call away. Oh, I'm so glad. You know that? I've never met anything more in my life. Now, I think you owe your mother an apology for all the pain that you caused her last night as well as for trying to scare us into getting what you want, which isn't going to happen. I'm sorry, Mom. Do you have a tape of your voice I could bring over to him? 
Yeah, I can. How about that? Good, then he'll hear it. This is wonderful. Well, why don't you join us for about dinner, about 6 o'clock over at Tony's place? Us? Uh, at Wiener and I. Uh, and then I can get the tape from you and I can bring it to Lester. <laughs> That's really nice of you, Mr. Day. I, I really appreciate it. Think nothing of it, Becky. Pleasure's all mine. Mm -hmm.